A question of character. Samus is the galaxy's most celebrated and talented space hunter. Her exploits are known throughout the universe. Hearing the name Samus will cause villains to fortify their defenses and remain on alert. They know that the force of Samus's power is equal or more to that of the entire Federation police force. In the far future, the Galactic Federation was established, allowing for goods, services, and cultures to be traded and realized throughout the galaxy. Space pirates look to disrupt this Federation by hijacking their spaceships and stealing their supply. The Federation created the Federation Police that recruited space hunters to do battle with these pirates. Flash forward to the further future where a group of space pirates attacked a deep space research spaceship procuring a capsule containing an unknown life form originally discovered on planet SR388. This terrible life form was in suspended animation and believed to have previously destroyed destroyed the entire civilization of SR-388. Its name was Metroid. After searching deep and wide, the pirates' headquarters was found on the fortress planet Zemis, where the Federation police launched an attack. Knowing the situation is critical and nigh impossible, they recruit Samus Aran for the task. They realize that Samus can possibly make the impossible Possible. Samus is to penetrate the center of the planet Zebus and destroy its mother brain. Planet Zebus is a hostile environment with the likes of the contaminated sea of Brinstar, the fire lakes of Norfair, and the metallic madness of Terrain. But they were courteous enough to provide elevators. Each zone of planet Zebus is infested with multiple types of crawly, creepy, and adversarial life forms such as the Scree, the Rippers, Zeb, Multiviola, the Living Molten Rock, Zila, and the Des Giga. They will attack Samus. Samus must respond with offensive attacks or at least destroy their terrain to leave them crazy so they don't know what to do with themselves. Spin eternally. Samus will fight the horde of creatures by using her wits. And if the situation does not call for wits, she will instead use her missiles. They work just as well. However, she has a limited supply of these destructive explosives. Therefore, Samus will mostly rely on her arm cannon. This arm cannon provides for full blasting power with little to no recoil, no matter the type of beam. So Samus's aim remains true, even when firing in multiple directions. Samus's power suit was designed by the Chozo Bird People to provide her with exceptional speed and incredible athletics. Her somersault is dazzling. The Chozo have hidden power-ups throughout the land of Zevis to increase the suit's abilities. With the ice beam, the long beam, and the wave beam as well, Samus's amazing acrobatical skill can be weaponized with the screw attack. Samus will decimate with flashing rotated knee tucks. She will also receive other items such as jump boots for extended leaps, an upgrade known as Varia to provide protection against power suit damage, rocket packs for more rocket blasting power, and the Maru Mari, which allows for Samus's bones and body to morph into a living sphere. Un Believable. She also gets bombs. The planet of Zebes is full of hidden locations and booby traps. Samus must navigate throughout this perplexed maze of madness without the use of a map. The one item the Chozo Bird people forgot to supply. Samus will use her bombs to explode hidden pathways. Thankfully, the planet of Zebes has distinguishable lands of molten rock, metallic piping, and whatever 
this is. Samus will have the ability to preserve her power suit's energy through energy packs, as well as energy balls that recharge the suit's power. While destroying the enemy, she will take their goods. This doesn't belong to you. Samus runs with a full range of shoulder ability. She does not settle for waist-length arm positioning. Her knees perform at sprint velocity. Samus has limitless stamina ability while using the power suit. Samus is able to breathe within her suit and her helmet allows her to view her statistical elements through a green visor. Samus is able to remain comfortable within the suit by wearing a purple bodysuit which provide for safe levels of body temperature and is also really cute. Samus has extremely long and luxurious brunette hair. The suit accommodates for that too. Essentially, the power suit is designed for the best in protection, fighting, and exploring and will provide for excellence in battle or exploration unless you fall in lava. She will encounter doors of different color that must be blasted to open. There are no door handles on planet Zebes. Samus is a woman of few words. This is a good thing because few on the planet Zebes are looking for a conversation. In fact, the space pirate Kraid will only speak through deadly needles. Samus will make sure to cure Kraid's speech issues with missile rockets. She is also searching to destroy Mother Brain. Mother Brain is breeding these Metroids for her own deviant pirate plans, likely to use them for bioweaponry to obtain galaxy-wide domination. Samus will do battle with the space pirate dragon Whitley that shoots fireballs that are easily frozen and leave him vulnerable. The space pirates are not the most intelligent lot. And when the two delinquent guardians of planet Zebes, Kraid and Ridley, are defeated, Samus will desecrate their statues in remembrance to provide access to terrain. And then she will ride the elevator to this cold land of twisted metal and- Oh, 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 oh. The Metroids are here. Samus is now the hunted. Her only hope is to run as fast as birdily suit possible from these biological nightmares, which can only be defeated through laser cryogenics and missile blasts. After she escapes, Samus must destroy the Zebatites, which provide the life force for Mother Brain. This pulsating blob of disgust must be demolished by missile. And after accomplishing the impossible, Samus must jump and escape by floating platform back to her spaceship. And it is there where Samus will again execute the impossible by removing her spacesuit and breathing in the toxic atmosphere of planet Zebes with the fullness of her lungs. But she will work it. Quest with me. Learn with us. Enrich your mind. Empower your inquiry. Like our material. Subscribe to our page. Put character into question. Return every Monday for more. A question. Oh, character.